Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on Entropy Explained uh, Big Cubes, um, generally a center technique. Yeah. So this is kind of a development on the idea of choosing the best option. Um, so if you haven't seen like Tuesday Chips, let's say, uh, one of the, kind of the big things between a solver who is averaging about, let's say, 250 versus averaging about 230, 220, is uh, kind of what choices you make for your centers, uh, what, what you choose. So a lot of solvers, let's say, they may be, okay, I just use this blue bar first. Okay, let me quickly find it. One, two, three pieces. That takes a lot of moves to solve. Um, but if I'm, let's say, looking around, I see um, four thing oranges are not nicer, and I have this outer bar, and I toward this one, and it just takes two moves to make. And I kind of go off of that. So that's one thing. But at some, what I did realize is, as a solver is a lot of times you may, you know, solve your nice cases first, but at some point you're gonna have to confront the bad cases. And while you kind of need to deal with that to some extent, how can you make these cases less bad? And um, what I realized, how, though, is using the, using the law of entropy, which is essentially that a system, uh, I guess in, in generic terms, a system gets more random the more you, know, you do to it. And so the idea is, if you have a bad case, it's probably just, again, this is kind of a guess, but it's, it's proven to work in, in solves. Um, if you have a bad case, chances are that if you, you know, do more moves to it, it's going to turn better. Because your really bad cases and your really good cases have about the same chance of happening. Um, again, in, in, the, in the general scheme of things. So, you know, um, what I do when I see a bad case. So let's say, okay, this bar up here is a bad case. So, you know, one, two, three, and I don't really see much to finish it. So I can quickly do these two. And then, okay, as I'm like kind of, in this case, it's, it's turned better. But... Better example. Yeah, so like right here, you know, I kind of see that the uh, the outer bar can get a little messy if I pair this up the normal way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this outer bar, um, when I'm just solving my kind of inner bar, it's just a part of the solution. So I'm just going to be like, you know, making sure my outer bar gets messed around with a bit to solve my inner bar. And that usually yields a better case. So earlier, I believe it was going to be something along the lines of, um, it, would it would take about one or two more triggers to do if I didn't kind of experiment with it. Yeah, but <clears throat> what happens with entropy, so the idea is if you have a bad case, let's say this bar here, you just want to make it as, as much as a part of your kind of solution or get affected by the moves you're making uh, as you can. So right here we see that when we do this one, it just inevitably gets better because we're just kind of doing moves to it. Um, again, this is like very much like a general statement. So <clears throat> yeah, and then here like my outer bar again is like, kind of like this, this is pretty bad, so I want to make sure I, you know, I'm like, okay, should I pair this up or should I pair that up? And I realize if I pair that up, right, I can get something a bit better. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't think I was actually done correctly. But, idea is just, if you have a bad case, you want to kind of integrate it in, into your solution as much as possible, or have it be affected by the moves as much as possible, and then it will, it will turn into a better case, likely. Um, this is a bit harder to do on edges, but at the same time, you know, usually if I have a bad case, what I would do is I would just leave it in the middle layer. Um, so let's say, okay, I'm going to finish this edge. This is annoying. Where's the last piece? Here. Uh, so yeah, if I have a good case like this, I'm going to just toss it out. And like, all of these, like, if you look at the rest of my pieces in my E layer, they're all, like, kind of unsolved edges. And if I see something that's solved in my E layer, so let me keep going with these edges. Um... Uh, oops, it's kind of hard to look through the viewfinder. So yeah, like back here I see something that's solved. So if I like do that, let's say, I take this one out and make sure it doesn't get affected by future moves because I don't want kind of the entropy to make this, this good case into a bad case. So essentially I want to leave as many kind of bad <coughs> cases as possible in my edges. So towards the end of my solve, I end up with a ton of guess fun cases to do. Um, yeah, and I'll be talking about this also in the video. It's going to be uploaded right after on the uh, the results of the maximum experimentation, and where that goes. So yeah, well, hope uh, hope you learned something from this. Oh, by the way, on on last four, yeah, not really much, but I guess uh, I haven't quite developed this myself too much. But I guess one thing you could do is when you choose your cycles, you can choose them so that bad cases are undone.
Yeah, like that. Actually, pretty much the same thing. All right. 